Hello viewers, I'm Simir Joseph. Today we are going to look at how to upload uh, bulk photos on the MS web portal. You must have uploaded your learners, but you forgot to attach a photo onto the learner. So we are going to look at how to add a photo if you forgot it. So we are going to log into our MS account. I request you uh, click on any browser. Okay. So after opening your browser, you're going to come down here in the search section to type in MS. You're going to type in MS. You can even use your phone or your laptop or anything that can access the, the website. So we shall tap on this first link here. So when tap on it, you open the uh, website where we shall be uh, filling in the details. Okay, so we shall click on MS Login. Login, put your uh, login details, your email and the password. Then you tap sign in. After signing in, you have your dashboard. So what we shall do is we shall go to uh, View Learners. You move to View Learners and you move under what you call bulk, uh, bulk image upload. So you tap on bulk image upload. So when you click on uh, bulk image upload, it will bring uh, an option. So when you click on upload, uh, bulk image upload, it will bring this uh, bulk photo upload section where you have to uh, step one you have to follow the steps step one to select the class which uh, whose photos you are trying to upload so you have to select the for the class here and uh, that you want to upload uh, the photos then you have step two which says rename all photos you intend to upload with the corresponding learner identification number that is green only put uh, them in one folder and zip it. So we have to obtain what you call the lean uh, of the learner. Then we add that lean onto the, the photo. So we rename the photo with the lean. So right now, when I move down here on my desktop, I'm having some photos that I took, of which I, uh, we are going to use to attach on the, on the learner. So you come on your desktop, desktop, and you create a new folder. You create a new folder, and you name it. Okay, bulk photos. So after naming, we are going to uh, move the photos. These are the photos that I have of the learner. So you are going to select all these photos get all these photos and you put them in one folder there could be many we're just using this to see how we can upload uh, such photos uh, onto our uh, MS records so we copy and we paste them in our new folder these are the photos that we have uh, that we are going to uh, post so these are the photos so they have told us that we are to we are to add we are to rename these photos with their corresponding learner's identification number. So we shall get the learner's identification number uh, via the view learner, which is this option. You come back to your learner, this option, and you click on view learners. After clicking new learners, you have their learner details and their links here. So we can see there are no photos on the sum of the, uh, the details here. You can see their links. So me, I'm interested in, uh, in form six. So I will select the class that you uh, want to upload the photos. I'll click on six, a six. So when I click on a six, I'll just come here and I say apply. So when I click apply, you can see most of the learners here having the photos and some of them they don't have. So I'm going to copy this link of the learners that I have the photos and I, I, I replace the name with the link. 
So I'm going to search into this and I see the runners which don't have photos and I copy. So I have this one and this one does not have a photo here. So I'm going to select this uh, lane like this. After selecting, right click on it and say copy. Then you go to your photo. I look for that individual. We click on the rename option here. You can say right click and then tap on rename. Then after you paste that link there like that. So we are done with the first one. The next one I have, the next one that I have the photo is so be somewhere here, this one. So I have this one does not have a photo. I'll select the link of that learner. I copy the link and I come to the folder which has the photos. It is here. So this is the person. I'll uh, rename this and I paste here. After that, I will go to another one until all oh, these people are having that. Uh, the limbs. So I will go for another one. This one. I copy. I copy. Then I go to uh, this person. This here. This one here. I say paste. Uh, okay, so we shall have. Uh, Another one, this one. Next, I have this one. So you go on replacing uh, the photos, learners' photos with their lens, uh, learners' the photo name with their links so i'm replacing them this one and this one and lastly i have this one this one here okay so make sure you put the correct name to avoid any error that you uh, that will come up with, uh, with no, no successful upload of that, that photo. So make sure the lean is correct, is the correct name of that line. So after that, after making sure that the learner's photo is having their corresponding uh, lean, then you come back to your uh, folder which is having the photos this one then we are to zip this we can find this in our instruction here in our instructions when you go back here to learners and the bulk image uploads we have the instruction that we are following this one it says only put them in one folder and zip it so we have to zip how do you zip a folder you right click on that folder and then you choose uh, add to bulk photos uh, dot rare so this is a uh, utility that uh, can enable you to to zip your files so you can download the winra or any other which can assist you to uh, zip uh, the fold the, the, the pictures so we shall right click on the folder and we tap on bulk photos dot rare so we click on it and the system will zip our our photos you can see the folder this folder and this one they are not the same i made a video on how to uh, zip files and how to use how to get different types of uh, uh, utilities that was uh, that is zip uh, setups that can assist you to uh, zip files so check in my video you'll be able to see it and you watch how to do that All right so this is my zip tip folder now we shall turn back to our uh, option for bulk photo uploads 
Then here they said you select the class. So I'm selecting senior six because it's what I've been working on. Then you come down here, you say, select the zipped file with the photos. So you click on browse. When you click on browse, it will bring for you a folder where you have to select uh, the folder, the zipped folder where it is saved. So my zipped folder is on the desktop. I'll click on desktop and you can see is here about photo photos so you tap on that folder and then you say open click on open here and after you click on upload archive like this so when you click on upload you have this message which says photos for uh, a6 uploaded successfully so this is how you upload uh, bulk photos uh, directly onto the uh, MS website. So this is a method that you can use to, to minimize or to reduce on time wastage, this one here. In case you have many learners and you want to upload them faster and then later you upload the photos. So you can use this method. It's easy, faster, and it is convenient. So, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, it gives me courage and energy to make another video for you. Thank you very much. Uh, stay blessed.